No spoilers! Spoiler. Ah, no spoilers! Spoiler. Ah. My lovelies, welcome to the final episode of our Fallout 4 crossbow run. It's been a heck of a journey so far, the crossbow has largely proven itself to be a very useful long-term weapon, which is lovely. Also, there's just some joy that I have when I use a crossbow, because crossbows are cool, don't even diss. We're about to do the synth retention quest, and yes, I know I'm a railroad agent, so returning synths is a bit counterproductive, but we need to fool the Institute leader. Yeah, Farmer really isn't that clever for a scientist, is he? I said as much of a comments on my last video. Anyway, that's that. Let's get on with it, shall we? As I said, I'm about to do the synth retention quest, so I fast travel to the closest location I had available, that being the prep school where Zeller and his army were earlier, and I make my way from there. I avoided the mess that is East City Downs, and got in a tussle with a Mylurk Hunter along the way. As I swim towards my destination, a rad storm hits, and seeing my current radiation level when I'm done making this crossing, I decide to wait it out. Or at least I try to. I sit on a bench to do the waiting thing, but even when I'm not being irradiated, the game won't let me. I want to wait until the rads pass so that I can heal myself properly before taking on the raiders, so I bummer around the nearby area. I happen upon an old manor that I always forget about that's overrun with ferals and figure it's a good way to kill some time. By killing them. I clear most of the house before I come across a putrid glowing one and his withered mate and they both chase me outside. Sadly it was not my day as whilst I'm desperately trying to heal myself in battle I succumb to whatever gross infection the two gave me. Well played you bastards. I respawn and see that the Radstorm has actually been over for some time I got wrapped up in all the murder, so I head over to the raiders. I reach Libertaria and manage to successfully snipe my first raider without being noticed by every other git in a nine mile radius. I then snipe his mate who's running into the open. He knows something's there, just not what's there. I show him what's there. I then snipe a third one in a row. I'm doing really well here. As I head on through, I take down some more raiders with some well-placed shots, and I manage to snipe the dude who usually throws a fat man shell at you. I try sniping the rest from across the way, but the projectile travel time on the crossbow is just a little bit too slow, so instead I head over on the lift thingy and take them out from a closer range. Somehow this dude didn't zero in on me, maybe take the bag off of your head, you fuckwit. Once I've killed the rest of the raiders, I make it to the captain's cabin and pick the lock to the safe that's in there, and that gets me to level 19. I give myself another point of perception before heading out to deal with the synth. I use his recall code and then quickly delete his little vanguard. I report my success to Father. He tells me he set me up some quarters and to go and have a look. I do and I then return to him because it's nearly time for the Battle of Bunker Hill to commence. Before I go to the hill, I quickly head to the railroad to warn them that the Institute are about to attack. As the railroad uses the hill to temporarily house escaped synths, if the Institute are successful here, it means a bunch of escaped synths will be recaptured. Can't be having that. Desdemona tells me to head to the hill and keep the synths safe, so I fast travel there, taking a quick moment after I arrive to meet the Corsa, who's to be my escort. He thinks we're returning the synths to the Institute, the idiot. I then make a mad dash for the inside bit, feeling the game stutter and dreading yet another crash, which thankfully doesn't actually happen, and then I head inside the underground bit beneath the big willy. Once inside, I help the railroad out by dispatching the Brotherhood of Steel dude inside the power armor, then reach the escaped synths. I tell them they're free, my coarser friend doesn't like this, and I have to quickly put the son of a bitch in the ground where he belongs. I meet Father atop the ruins of the Institute of Technology building, tell him that Bunker Hill went to shit, and somehow he just buys the lie that I had nothing to do with it. Man, he is so bad at sussing out betrayal, at least he's not letting us attend meetings with the Directorate that will discuss the future of the Institute. What's next? Oh yeah, he invites us to attend the meeting with the Directorate, and for fuck's sake, man, you really only have yourself to blame when this place gets nuked later. I mean, before this I pop home to buy and craft some more ammo, but then it was straight to the meeting. This is also the point where he reveals that he has cancer and is dying. I'm not going to make a joke about that, because cancer sucks. Fuck cancer. Seriously. After the meeting, I hit level 20, take the next rank of medic, and realise it's the mass fusion quest's time to shine. I quickly pop home, ignoring the vault tech calling quest thing that pops up on the screen, and pick up my hazmat suit to make the next bit less painful, then head back to the institute and tell them I'm ready to go. Arriving at mass fusion, I see the Brotherhood of Steel are now hostile, and it's time to fight my way down. The Brotherhood dudes without power armor really aren't much of a threat, they drop like flies, whilst the ones in power armor stand defiantly and take quite a few bolts to put down. Taking the world's slowest elevator, we shoot out with more soldiers as we descend until the lift breaks and then we're left to proceed on foot. I kill more Brotherhood, accidentally exit the building, triggering two 20 second long loading screens just to get back inside. Eventually though, we reach the mass fusion core room. I slip into my hazmat suit and head into the core to steal the beryllium agitator without growing eight new extra limbs and exit just in time to be assaulted by robots. We scrap the sentry bot pretty easily. The assault trons though, mm, no. Yeah.
Respawning, I use a more careful approach and am able to best the assault trons. I then proceed to finish off the rest of the robots before making my escape. In the lobby, I see the Brotherhood are out in full force. I take a moment to make sure one of the knights goes nuclear real quick. Once he blows up, I use that as my cue to get the hell out of there. Outside, I quickly travel to the Institute and drop off the agitator. I watch as my XP bar slowly fills and then it hits level 21. I take the refractor perk, knowing that my future foes will all carry zappy guns, then head home to the red rocket to take a nap and just check on how things are going. Everything seems fine, so I go to store some gear in one of my cabinets and the game crashes because the game is a cunt. Reloading, I... oh. Oh my. I assign a settler to a bar that I forgot I built until now, customise the unique shotgun I found in Libertaria, give it to the bartender because I can't use the bloody thing, then head back inside the institute to tell father that I have succeeded in getting the agitator. He says good job, his I'm trust sure in me has never been higher, and he tells me he wants me to help abduct a scientist. This prompts another trip into the wasteland, which leads me to sniping some raiders on a bridge, then some raiders on a road, then leads me to beating up some gunners that the scared scientist hired as bodyguards. I help the men in white do a kidnap, report the success to father, who then asks me to help him with his podcast. Once that's done, I need to pop to Diamond City, and after quickly doing some ammo shopping, I head to the radio station, place the booster signal so that we can use it to send our message of... peace, in quotation marks. With that done, I head back to meet father for the ceremonial starting of the Institute Reactor. He then leaves me to head a meeting of the Directorate, who discussed the Brotherhood of Steel threat, and once that's done, I'm told my quarters are flooded, so I head up to see what the damage is, only to find my synth buddy there, who tells me that the Brotherhood of Steel have found a Choo Choo base. Oh dear. I arrive just in time to warn Desdemona, and as if on cue, the Brotherhood launch their attack. Sit tight, we're in for a long one. With that done, I'm told to quickly head outside and check on Glory, the person defending the outsidey bit of the base. She dies. I don't know her, but I'm sure it's very sad, but I'm just in time to get attacked by more Brotherhood. They seriously want us dead.
gonna lie, that fight had me seriously concerned for my health. I speak with Desdemona and she reveals that she has a plan to steal a Brotherhood vertebird and blow up the Pridwin. You know what? Fair enough, I'm on board. So we set off to the police station. Let's not waste time and get right into it. Don't worry, I won't be making you sit through another drawn out gunfight like I just did. We clear the outside, then move in and clear the inside, and the death of a legendary soldier nets me enough XP for another level. I take the next rank of the refractor perk and then make my way to the roof. Tinker Tom gives me an explosive that we're gonna use on the Pridwin, but soon enough more soldiers are on our ass, and I make the brilliant tactical decision to stand next to a pile of explosive barrels. Hero of the Wasteland right here. Reincarnating, I avoid the barrels and manage to shoot down the enemy vertebrate. It wasn't so much a difficult task as it was a long task. With all hostiles down, I climb aboard the vertebrate and I wait. And wait. And wait. I then see the icon by the door. I quickly hop off the vertebrate and check my pit boy. Turns out we still need to talk to Deacon, who for some reason is inside the police station, like the big smarty pants he is. After doing the fuckwit roundup, I board the ship again and we take off. Next stop, the Pridwin. And don't worry, I didn't shoot anything with the minigun. It's nowhere near fun enough to do in this game. The minigun's a piece of shit in Fallout 4. Disguised as a Brotherhood trooper, I head aboard the airship and make my way to the giant floaty bits to plant my bombs. I draw the attention of some of the peeps with my presence, but thanks to some leftover stealth boys, I'm able to get away largely unvaporized. Once we're at a safe distance, boom goes the dynamite. Pridwin gone, I report to Desdemona, and it's now time to invade the Institute and free the simps. So I head into the Institute, get to the teleporter room, and murder everyone in sight to secure it. Once it is secure, the railroad agents can teleport in, and we can begin our siege. Sadly, I'd forgotten to stock up on any bolts, so this bit was... stressful. Very stressful. I swore quite loudly each time I missed a shot. Thankfully, with the backup of the railroad agents, I'm able to get quite far without needing to do too much killing on my own for a time anyway. Motherfucker! What the fuck were you doing, you dumb guy? Yeah, that was... that was probably a waste. I managed to kill one of the synth gorillas, but this takes my bolts down to just under 30, and given that most enemies around here take between 2 and 3 bolts to kill, that's... 
that's bad. So I dashed to the terminal, opened the doors and leg it to the main bit. More simps, and by the time my bolts are around 10, I resort to bashing the rest of them to death. Even this stuck courser. Like, he's just stuck there because he hasn't figured out how to jump. I mean, he has figured out how to jump, he just hasn't figured out how to combine that with the environment he's in in order to escape this predicament. These things are lousy. I go and bid my meat son a farewell, use his passcode to override the lockdown, fucking sprint to the reactor to plant the charge, and just as the shit hits the ventilator, I'm teleported out to the entrance point place. I tell my robo son he can come with us, and after navigating these two dumb fuck choo choo people, I get outside and press the big red button. With the Institute leveled, the nuclear option quest is complete, and the run is finally done. Whew, that took longer to put together than I wanted, mostly because of the huge delay between the first and second episode, but anyway, that's the crossbow run. I hope you've enjoyed it. I mostly have. I've mostly enjoyed making it. Still, I am kind of glad to be done with it now. I can move on to other things. I hope you enjoyed this series. If so, leave a comment. Uh, comment the game crashed again. Comment that. You bastard.